Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do uh, swatches for these new quads from Guerlain. Um, these are called Ombres G and I do have four of them which kind of attracted my eyes because of the colors. So the first one it's 910 uh, Andres Brown. I think this was released um, last holiday, uh, Christmas time. I don't know, I'm new to this uh, Guerlain, Guerlain eyeshadows and I didn't want to try the formula. Now the packaging, it is stunning, it is very luxurious. Um, however, I don't like this kind of packaging just because uh, you do need to clean it every time uh, because it's not kind of fingerprint uh, approved. So every time you touch it, you do have to clean it, otherwise it will be um, full of fingerprints. Uh, so yeah, this is the first quad. Now this felt, felt the most creamier of them all, I don't know why. Um, I just received them, I didn't have time to apply them to my eyes. And these are made in France and have only 6 months of shelf life, which for an eyeshadow it's kind of low shelf life, I don't know, uh, for sure I will keep them more than this. Um, each of these uh, eyeshadow have 2.2 grams uh, or 0 0.07 ounce. Uh, so yeah, this is like the info for this on the packaging. Uh, a very luxurious, um, very bright and I, even from the swatches I did like them. Um, second I bought 555 five, five Metal Butterfly. Again, um, I chose this only because of the colors. Not because I don't have these colors in my collection, but uh, yeah, I wanted some vibrant colors and I want especially to see how this uh, more luxurious brands, let's say, will uh, have the payoff. Now they swatch pretty well. Um, I think this one it's more for like spring, very summery, uh, very, I don't know, I do like it. I like how they sparkle and shimmer. Um, now for the um, swatches, this one, um, yeah, it started to uh, not swatch that well. I think I will the yeah second time just for you to see the color payoff. And uh, now uh, sunny days are going to be more often, so I'm very happy because I can do my swatches in direct sun, and I cannot wait to try um, all of this to my eyes. Um, I just watch everything in one video. Uh, the second one, the third one, sorry, it is 360 uh, Mystic Peacock. Now this, I need to have it. It has that two, actually, blues. One is more darkened and one is more like a turquoise. And now this practically didn't swatch so well. I do think they are more like a blush, not blush topper, like an eyeshadow topper. Um, just because I think this on top of a, like a dark base, especially that turquoise. Um, so I think they will look really great. Uh, then, yeah, we'll see, but I need to get this one. Uh, built on um, that blue, the darker blue, remind me of a Patmograph eyeshadow um, from a mothership. I don't remember exactly which one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm just very curious how this will uh, apply to the eyes. Now this is a very shimmery, more glittery uh, eyeshadow palette. This one in particular, they do reflect and shimmer really pretty. Uh, also build up two times these swatches for you to see exactly how they look. And this is after I swatch them. I mean, that turquoise have like almost a wet look with a lot of silvery sparklings. Uh, I don't know. It looks it looked really pretty. I, I cannot wait to try them. And uh, yeah, this is more like side by side the eyeshadow and the uh, swatches. I mean, by now, uh, these are not new. I think they are on the market for like one year. Uh, but 
until like a couple of months i to be honest didn't been so curious about this luxurious brand um, but i said okay let's give it a try i also saw some videos online which kind of influenced me let's say about these eyeshadows um, so yeah and this is more the last one which is called exotic orchid it's a very spring summery color like pinky rose and with a golden shade um, this was like not as shimmery it's more like a metallic a little bit on the subtle side um, this is was my first impression after i swatched them uh, definitely they have like different kind of formulas in this palette and the last two felt a little bit drier um, this i don't know why maybe it's just uh, i don't know exactly why they feel like this but they should not affect how they will be applied on the eyes and yeah this is after i swatch it on my finger just for you to see how it will look i think this is more like you have these colors it's nothing special regarding the color team but uh, anyway i wanted to try and i know there is a new one aura glow but i cannot find it here in sweden so yeah when it will be available i will buy that one also and i wanted to here to compare the three like orange shade for the first three palettes so i took the one from uh, Andres Brown, Metal Butterfly, and uh, then the Mystic Peacock. And I wanted to see how kind of similar these three orangey are. In the last one, it's not orangey. So here you can see definitely uh, side by side different formula. And they are for sure different. The first one, it's more like metallic intense second is more shimmery and the third is more like a glittery based eyeshadow i don't know differently dif definitely a different formula uh, and then i took the lighter shade from this uh, andres brown with uh, the one from uh, exotic orchid but yeah they were completely different two eyeshadows uh, as you can see one is champagne one is more brownish and um, this is my entire video i will link what i have here in the description box if you shop to my links it really helps my channel so i'm very thankful for that this was my entire video swatches thanks for watching and see you next